the village area, you'll see these dome-shaped structures that are kind of randomly placed here and there. These are actually baking ovens. They are made out of adobe. They are not traditional Puebloan. They were introduced to us by the Spanish. They're actually of Moorish descent. And so these are made out of adobe. Like I said, they are very, um, adobe is a great insulator. And so um, inside of these ovens, we bake bread pies and cookies. The bread we bake is white flour yeast bread sugar cookies, prune pies, apple pies. Mm -hmm. And so these are used all throughout the year during those special times of ceremony and celebration. Or for example, it's graduation season or wedding season. Um, these are used to make large amounts of bread, pies, and cookies. And so a typical size oven like this holds about 15 to 20 loaves of bread at a time. And so the way we use them is we start actually the night before where we have to gather to make the dough so that the dough rises overnight. And then in the morning, usually early in the morning, we start by building a fire on the inside with cedar wood. Cedar burns really fast and at a high temperature. And so once the cedar, uh, once the fire burns down to coals, all of the coals are swept out and all of the dough is placed inside on top of metal pans. So if you can imagine a pizza style oven, the long stick and a flat ladle at the end, all of the dough is put in and then this um, cover here, I mean this opening here is covered. There's a separate hole on the top back of the oven that lets the smoke out if needed. And so um, usually one big fire will cook one batch of red pies and cookies. Um, again, they're used throughout the year for those special sometimes of celebration. So none of our traditional foods are baked or cooked inside of these. All of our traditional foods are all cooked over fireplace or any baking is done with coals. Um, and so our traditional foods, again, consist of corn, beans, squash, pumpkins, and melons, as well as wild game like elk, deer, wild turkey, and duck, um, and, so, and bison. And so all of these uh, foods are still harvested on our lands um, and in our mountain. Uh, so we do have vendors who practice this style of baking, so if you're lucky, you can pick some up today. Um, but yeah, none of our traditional foods are baked in. Does anyone have any questions about the oven? Yeah? Well, you mentioned the wild turkeys and when we were up in Bandelier mm -hmm. with the Quickfellers, they said that a lot of them actually cultivated turkeys. They had Oh, like domesticated them? Domesticated. Yeah, yeah. I'd imagine that we did that too. Yeah. Yeah, but sometimes we'll be up in the mountains and there'll be like a turkey running by yeah. or a cat <laughs> way. <laughs> so those are wild, right? Yeah, those but, are wild. <laughs> but they um, said it was kind of funny because they said, Oh yeah, you can just domesticate them so easy. All you gotta do is feed them. Oh yeah, exactly. And 